This channel is about fun and sharing everything I know. It's my fashion and beauty world. <laughs> and yes, yeah, you're invited too. This episode is about how to have that fabulous eye wing liner. As you can see, I already have it. I'm going to go backwards and we're going to start from the beginning. A lot of you requested this from way back when. And as you know, I've been so busy with the awards, the red carpet, this and the other. I didn't have time. So this is a very short, sweet episode of how to have the perfect wing liner. Let's start. So I'm going to use my new love. Chanel liquid liner. You guys can use anything you like. It does not matter. It doesn't matter the color either. So far as it's easy for you and you have control of it. That's, I think that's what's really important here. You can use a pencil as well. Just make sure that it glides, the texture is smooth enough where it glides so that you can get the ultimate effect. All right, my loves, let's get started. Okay, so mirror in hand and I am looking at my right eye and what I do because it really depends guys on your eyebrow where it ends. Why? Because when you do your flick, you are going to elongate the liner at the bottom towards your eyebrow where it ends. That is your guide. Yes, that way you have an understanding of where you want to go. I say this because usually, even though brows are not twins, they're sisters, they're usually of the same length. If you do that and measure it from, uh, sorry, from the, from the end of your eye to the brow, it's going to be the same on the other eye. That is how you have both wings the same length. Yes? Alrighty. So, but that's my little trick. That's what, that's what I do. So, you're going from the opposite of the tear duct. Your tear duct is on the inside and you've got the outer V right here. And so you take your liquid pencil or eye pencil and I start from the bottom out in small strokes to, to where I want it. As you can see, I'm wearing pink eyeshadow, very dramatic. So I might have like a longer wing just to minimize the pink, yes? So as you can see, I brought it all the way up here. Yes? All right. Another trick is that when you have it right here, it does not necessarily mean you have to take it from that end and sweep it in. Sometimes I go halfway and that is how you have that sweeping sharp effect. I'll show you now. Lift your brow and then you take it from in, like I said here, and you swish it over your lid. That is exactly what I do. Okay, let me take this and put it up here so that I can, I don't have to bend down. I don't want to be out of focus with the camera. All right, there you go, see? And what you do, you just go back again, small strokes, take your time, and you go right over. For me, I feel that this is the hardest part. Once you've got this part, then it's good. Then you go very slowly, small strokes, at the very base of your, eye, your eyelashes and you sweep it over. I go from the very bottom and I build it so that I can decide how thick I want the um, wing liner or not.
And what I do also is that I keep it very thin and do the other side. So if I make a mistake, I can either build the other one up. So it's all about taking your time. Just take your time and do it in small strokes. But the sweeping wing effect, as you can see, is on the outside. And then I fill it in. That's exactly what I do. Do you see? Now we told them, let me fill it in. And that's it. That's it, my loves. That's it. And there you have your wing liner, your beautiful cat eye. And I'll go over it. Once, once you, once you placed it, you can go over it and over it if you for, for the for the density, you know. dry a little bit, keep your brow up, but that is it, and go right into the lash. I also take a black pencil and go, I call it the roof of the eyelid, just to get in between the spaces of my eyelashes before I place my mascara and uh, my fake lashes as well. But that is it guys, that is your cat eye. I'll do the other side as well, yeah? And here we go on the other side. Same thing. Look at where your eyebrow is. And you go up. Soft strokes. You stop and you look at your other eye. For me, for, for beginners, I strongly advise for you to do this without adding your mascara, without adding your false eyelashes, so that you can have a true vision of what your liner looks like. It's just even more beautiful when you add your uh, fake eyelashes because it looks so clean, it looks so neat. You can't see the beginning or the end. And then when you put on your fake eyelashes, you can go over liquid eyeliner, I prefer, and just fill it all in and seal it all in. So there, so there you have it right now. Can you see? I've done the other side now, and then I'm going to now sweep it in. For left-handers, it, it shouldn't be that tricky, but again, take your time. Take your time, yes? And then you go. And like I said, don't go to the point, just build. So take it over, almost like a triangle, upside triangle, and then you build. You build that in. Once you've got that, and it's a majority of a straight line, then you go back to the triangle, halfway the triangle, and you build it up. And that is how you do the other side. Again, right at the base of your eyelashes, at the very base. Take your time. You don't want to poke your eye either because of the uh, gradient of most liners. It makes your eyes water and that will just really mess the whole thing up and then you have to stop and so on and so forth and then it gets difficult for the glue to adhesive onto your lash, onto the fake lashes as well. So just take your time, you're not going anywhere. I always allow, en yes my love, I always allow enough time for my makeup. It's the longest, my eyes. Once I've got my eyes done, then I'm good. But I allocated a lot of time to it because if I start to rush, I make mistakes, I get frustrated, <laughs> you know, so. And you go right in. And this is how you make a wing, wing liner. Yeah. And then you go in and you build. And there you have it, guys. Let me just make sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. It works. Let me do a little more of a flick. There you go. Yeah. 
And then my loves is your wing liner. So I'm going to add my mascara, I'm going to add my false lashes, and I'll be right back. <laughs> and that's the final look, my loves. Isn't it gorge? And before you ask, even though I'm going to put everything in the description box, this uh, pink eyeshadow is called Monaco. And it is from Too Faced, the A La Mode Eyes Palette. Ula bought this for me when he came back from Oslo last week. Isn't it gorgeous? And this is Monaco. It's a gorgeous palette. I think it's fun. He said that um, it was, Ula, what did you say? They said that it was a limited edition. So he thought, well, you know what? It's, it's can, it's South of France. She should like this, it's got color. Isn't he sweet? Oh yes, and then I got the melted lipstick as well. I got two actually, I got a red one, but he bought me this one called Mel Melted Coral. It's one of my favorite colors. So that's what I have on my lips, and I have MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil on the sides a little bit blended in, and then I put this in. Gorgeous, I love it, it's fun. I thought, why not? It's Too Faced a la mode. I'll put everything in this description box. Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, leave comments as you always do. And before I go, naturally we have the quote of the week. Stop trying to fit into the wrong herd. Find other black sheep to hang out with. Absolutely. If you're not feeling them, if they're not feeling you, that's okay. You're just in the wrong place. Find other people to hang out with. There are always others. It's a huge world. You'll find yours that will love you and appreciate you for who and what you are. And when you're in the right uh, group of people, group of friends, your energy is right. And it always brings out the best in you. Life is too short. See you next week. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Thank you.